Shape of a Girl monologue. I've had close relationships since I was a kid. I've always had a close relationships, close friendships, and would be with them a lot of the time. Going to school with the same friends throughout school helps keep a close relationship with them, and it's easier to figure them out. So you can, you can't get many arg big arguments and lose them. I believe that relationships with boys and girls are two completely different things. With girls being friends, everything must be perfect for them to stay friends. And if not, they start to argue and start rumors and lose each other. With boys being friends, we just let, we just let life go on. And when we hang out, we make the most out of it. We don't sit around on our phones. We definitely don't sit in silence. We are always doing something or finding something to do. Relationships at, relationships at this age can be hard at times because as teenagers we are all trying to figure out life on our own and it can be tough to handle our friendships or even girlfriends and boyfriends. I've never experienced bullying or been around bullies as a kid. That's why I've had the same friend group since grade 7. We have always been taught that bullying is not right and if you do bully someone then the, consequ the consequences are not fun so we never do. As a little kid, at about the age of 7 to 10, I had anger issues, and every little thing made me mad. I would always get into fights with my classmates and teachers, but the worst was with my parents. I would get into fights with my parents almost every week, and if things didn't go my way, I would throw things and break things and not really care. It's funny to look back on now because I'm a good kid now. But I still can't believe what I put my parents through, and I still feel bad to this day. Once I was entering high school, I would get introduced to many different things that were brought up when you when, when you were in it, when you were in high school, like vapes and alcohol, and if it's bad, then drugs. But there's always the worry that you're going to come across one of these things in high school, and the sad thing is that 90% of the kids have tried one of these things in high school. Luckily for me, I have not. I have an excellent friend group. I have excellent. I have an excellent group of friends that all have parents that are on the same page with this stuff. If I ever got offered or asked for vapes or alcohol, I would always say no and walk away because I know it's not the right thing to do. I and I don't really care if everyone else is partying and drinking. I'm not a follower, and if I don't have the reason to do any of these things, addicting things, I, then I won't. I've always been a somewhat popular kid, and I've been in a popular friend group, so having the sense of belonging has never been a problem for me. I've always played sports, and the better you are at the sport, the more you're going to, you're going to get liked by others, which I have been. There have been, there have been times where I've, I've been left out from a hangout, and I felt horrible. Then that question comes up in your head saying, do all my friends really like me? And I figured out the answer to that is yes, but they don't have to be with me all the time. And if I was with my friends all the time, I would get tired of them. So you must have the, that sense of belonging and know where and whom you belong with. One, of the, one thing I've realized, especially as a high school student, is you're never gonna have a perfect day. It's not just, it's just not gonna happen. There was a day this year where I was having a perfect day. Everything was going well, and I was in a good mood all day. I went to basketball that night, and I couldn't hit a single shot. Later in that game, I rolled my ankle badly, and I'm out for the next week. That, that one day was a revelation of how life really is. It showed me that life is a roller coaster of emotions and different situations, I'm, and I must figure out how to deal with them without messing up my relationships. I can't let my problems affect others.